Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my flagship series, the biggest series on my channel ever of all time. Um, once again, I just have to mention, I'm so glad that you guys like this series so much. It's an absolute joy. I have to admit, there were points of doing this Let's Play. Obviously, we're on 205, where, it, you know, it, it was kind of a drag. The uh, Soul Cairn episodes, <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't as into it at that point, but... For the longest time I can remember now uh, recording these episodes, I've just really been looking forward to it. And it, it's, it's, oh man, I just, uh, I have a great idea. I, I have a great, um, I know exactly what I'm going to do for the ending and it's going to be great. And uh, it's just, wow, I was looking through the quests again and we're, we're getting really close, guys. We're getting super duper close. If there's anything that you guys can think of that uh, you want me to do that we have not done yet in terms of side quests, in terms of, uh, miscellaneous things that are unique, something that we have to do, because I'm not going to do something like, oh, take this and give it to this person, you know. Um, you go ahead and leave them in the comments, because we are getting, we're getting to the bottom of the barrel now, it seems. Not in terms of quality, but in terms of just, we're reaching all the way. Let's say we're getting to the bottom of the peanut butter jar. Uh, peanut butter jar. Uh, there's not much peanut butter, uh, peanut butter left in there. Anyways, welcome back to this episode, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we took down Patima once and for all, and we need to return to Steer, which I believe was a character in Game of Thrones, specifically, actually, A Storm of Swords, I think, uh, the third book, which I just completed. Oh, crap! Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, we still have time. Um, crap. Where do I go to heal this? Uh, where's uh there there should be a temple of the of the divines in here, right? That that's where Where were we with the temple of the divine of the divines? Uh, let's take a look at the map here. Crap. Where's the hall of the dead, man, or something? Um Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and... Where was that? What? What? Where am I pointed at? Okay, so it's all the way... I'm looking at it right now. It's all the way in the corner. Okay, totally forgot that we had Sanguinar Vampiris. That, just saying that... Okay, that was super, super, super weird. Obviously, it's a glitch, but I thought that person had a little ghost pet, like, following him. Um, and it just looked very, very odd to me what was happening there. Okay, I'm glad I'm not insane. Uh, yeah, that pronunciation that I'm using sounds vastly incorrect. Sanguinar Vampiris. I don't know, that's the best that I'm going to do. Uh, you can't help me. You're useless, just like most people here. Uh, so last time we used Mara, let's use Julianos. Okay, there we go. Now, yeah, it's gone. We no longer have Sanguinaire Vampiris, but I want to see what the blessing of Julianos is. Uh, da -da. Increases your magic by 25 points. Okay, we'll take that. We need to um, use the Talos Shrine at some point, and I think the easiest one to find would be the one in White Run, of course. Okay, here we go. Now, give Potema's remains to Steer, return to Falk, fire beard. Uh, where is Steer? It's actually directly in front of us. Have we even talked to... St oh, Steer is... Wait. Steer is the... Yeah, the guy in the Hall of the Dead. That's right. Okay. Uh, Stir, I think, was the guy from Game Can of Thrones. You? Yes, don't you remember? You sent me on that crazy you quest. Return. I'm hoping successfully. I have Patima's remains. Excellent. These things do have a way of working out when people take action. I'll sanctify the remains. In case Falk doesn't make it clear, Solitude owes you a debt of gratitude. As does everybody, buddy. I used buddy the second time there to, to call him buddy. Okay, uh, now we need to return to Falk, who of course is in the Blue Palace, as he always is. What are we missing? Gosh. I know we have at least one. We have two more quests. We have the heart of, De of we have eh, we have the heart of Debella. We have filial bonds, and we have lights out. But I'm not sure if we're missing any other quests. 
I feel like we have to be, but I'm not sure. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Hi there. Be quick. I have little May patience the gods for my watch over your battles, friend. I've taken care of Patima. You've done a great thing today. It doesn't matter who you support in the war. Patima would have been a blight on the land for both sides. Without you, this would have been a disaster. I should have paid more heed to Varnius' warnings. I won't make that mistake again. Take this payment. The Jarl would thank you, but she very much wants to keep Potema's return quiet. Make no mistake, we consider you a protector of solitude. I have so very many Shield of Solitude! Ooh, cool! We do actually get a unique item now. I'm pretty sure it is a... Um... It's just going to be another... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, it's a Solitude Guard Shield. Increases magic resistance by 30%. Block 35% more damage with your shield. As far as shields go, that is pretty gosh darn good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very few of them. You're trying my patience. Hmm. I had you figured... For okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to buy up all of Sybil Stentor's Soul Gems, which includes Common... Grand. Let's take a look at our gold though, because we're down to eighty thousand. I don't like being down to eighty thousand. Grand. Uh, greater. Ah, we're just gonna buy all of it. Screw it. Okay. Hopefully, we can still move now. Take care of yourself. And yes, we can. But we're not gonna be able to for long. Why do we have so much stuff? Is it literally the? Is it the ingots? Do we have iron in here that's weighing us down? Yes, it is. Okay, we need to get rid of that stuff. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the um, the chest back at our house because we've got some stuff to do, and I'll tell you guys what I mean in a split second here. But for now, let's go to look at all these things. Look at all these things we've done in this let's play. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man. Okay. Uh, we will be getting all shouts. I'm not exactly sure if I will record it or not we might do a live stream doing that because it's just it's not that interesting you know it's just getting to the end of dungeon after dungeon basically okay now that we're here let's go into our chest and we need to go to miscellaneous and drop off any and all ingots uh which includes clay dwarven metal ebony Glass, goat hide, gold. Try not to drop anything that I do not want to drop. Uh, hinges. Why do we have so many hinges? I don't know, but we'll put that in there until we're ready to build everything. Iron ingots, leather strips, locks, nails, or a calcum, which is very fun to say. Quarried stone, quicks, uh, quicksilver. Refined Malachite, Refined Moonstone, Steel, Straw, and that's it. And now our weight is all the way down. Wonderful. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is head to White Run. Uh, we're going to do a tiny little bit of grinding, but do not fret. It's going to be very, very, very fast, I assure you. Crap, no it's not. Oh, no. Damn it. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, actually. Uh, let's see. 12 a.m. Let's wait 12 hours. That will put us at around 1 p.m. Um, the reason I cursed is because we need some iron daggers. And I just dropped off all of my iron. But that iron was set aside for my house anyway. So that's no big deal. We'll just buy everything from the people that are never ever here. Oh, there you are. Nice that's to show up. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Okay, I'm going to buy all your iron. And all your leather and all your leather strips. Thank you so much. Don't forget to check inside. Yes, I know to check inside, which is why I come here to War Maidens. I don't claim to be. Uh, stop talking to, to me. Maidens. Get out of here. Looking to protect yourself? Okay, I will take this and this and this and this. Thank you very much. Good doing business with you. Okay, we gotta watch our gold. It's dwindling. Yes. Have you met my Sadly father? low. He's a steward. Disappointingly low, I should say. Alright, let's make ourselves some iron ingots. Boom. And let's make ourselves some leather straps. 
leather strips. Okay, I'm gonna spam that A button. I'm gonna spam it like I'm trying to beat uh, Canary Mary in Banjo Tooie. For those of you that know what I mean, let's all do a collaborative shudder. <sighs> okay. Um, now, let's go to Blacksmith Forge and Iron and Iron Dagger and spam that A button as well. Looks like we can make a, about 30 or 40 or whatever it is. We'll get close to 50 smithing, which will be good. Okay, there we go. Now, can we still move? Yes, we can. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. Let's head to Dragon's Reach, I believe, right? I think we've got everything that we need in the moment of the meantime. Okay, this might just give us what exactly we wanted. And I was thinking, should we do this in the episode or not? And the answer is yes, because every now and then you guys need to see the stuff that I'm doing off camera as well. Just just to know what exactly I'm doing. Hi, Ferengar. Smile. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to Okay, get. let's buy all of this too. It'll be worth it, I assure you. Okay, we're down to 75,000 gold, but that's okay. We're going to use the Arcane Enchanter, and now... Ooh, look at that. We can disenchant the Shield of Solitude. Interesting. Uh, we're not going to, though. No, get out of here. No, just stop. Okay, we're going to grab an Iron Dagger, and we're going to grab Banished Daedra... Oh, do I not have it? I've... No. Wait, do I not have Banished Daedra? There's no way. Oh, it must be because you can only put it on clothes, I imagine. Yeah. Um, this doesn't really matter that much because the only thing that Bar uh, Banished Daedra actually does is it allows you to sell these items for more. Uh, which is wonderful if you're really trying to turn a profit. But my main goal here is to um, increase our enchanting. So, let's use the Black Star. If you're wondering if it will consume the item, the answer is no, so do not worry. Uh, so basically, this is how you do this. Uh, you go up, and then you go from down to up, and then you go from up to down. So we grab the Iron Dagger, we go left, we grab Paralyze, we double tap A, we go down, we grab the next available uh, Soul Gem, we tap X, we tap A. And then we do the same thing. A, over, over, A, A, over, up, over, A, X, A. A. And you can get really good at this, obviously. Um, I'm not super duper fast, but... Okay, our enchanting is increased to 90. And I'm not going to show you guys all of this. Obviously, do not worry. I'm not going to spend like an hour doing this. Um, but I just want to show you guys a little bit as to how this works. Uh, let's just keep doing this until we level up one more time. Yeah, I just do Paralyze. Like I said, I don't think it really matters. We could put any enchantment on... Um, the only reason you want Banished Daedra is because it increases the value of the, um, Iron Dagger. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna finish this up with all of the rest of the Soul Gems that we have. Shouldn't take too long. I will see you guys in a split second. Okay, guys, getting super close here. Um, I think we'll get up to 94 enchanting, which will be wonderful. Three more to make. One... There we go. Enchanting increased to 94. So we've got six more levels of enchanting. And then I think we will have every single uh, mage skill at 100, right? Let's see. Yeah. I don't know if you consider alchemy a mage skill, but either way, um, we'll have illusion, conjuration, destruction, restoration, alteration, and enchanting at 100. Uh, so, actually, we already have all the mage stuff because all of this stuff is the mage stuff, whereas alchemy and enchanting are sort of two classes at once, if you want to think of them like that. So, that is that. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue to do that, probably off camera again. Um, I'll raise it to, like, 99 so you guys can at least see me get 100 uh, in the video. But that's what I've been doing to increase smithing and enchanting. Smithing, of course, gets raised at a, an incredibly slow amount. Um... At an incredibly slow rate, I should say. Okay, let's get the final quest. I don't know if it's the final quest, but either way, it's the last one that I have on the list right now. Um, I still have yet to go through extensively all of the completed quests that we've done and strike off things off the list. That's going to take like a whole day um, to make sure 
that we've done everything. So I'm going to do that soon. But for now, we've got two more quests to do. Uh, the first one is we want to talk to somebody in solitude. I think we should not have exited. I think we should have stayed within solitude. But I just want to make absolutely sure. Okay, let's see. There's nobody out here, right? No. All right, so back into solitude. I don't remember this quest whatsoever, and I didn't look into it whatsoever either because I want to be sort of surprised. Um, this is probably the only one in the entire game that is not ringing a bell ab whatsoever in, in any shape or form. Um, so I'm interested to see what's going to happen with this one. So there should be somebody that we can find... And I'm not sure exactly where he's going to be. We might have to just take a look in a second here. But let's wait at least uh, so that it's daytime. I feel like just everywhere we go, it's always nighttime no matter what. And we always have to wait like 12 hours. But that's okay. Luckily, this takes far less time than waiting on the or in the console versions. All right. Yeah. So we're looking for somebody. I've got a little interested traveler and there he is you're passing through solitude maybe you're looking to make some easy gold yes what did you have in mind it's easy to find things to sell things nobody will miss things from underground or just left lying around in someone's house I bet the two of us were very alike so why not take the next step we can help each other my sister Deja and I are treasure hunters we like to collect things. I'm listening. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. We have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the ice runner would run aground. So you want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. I think if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. <laughs> What would happen to sailors on the boat? Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for their heroic rescue from their sad crash. It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Okay! And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have Filial Bonds, The Heart of Debella, and Lights Out. After this, on the short list, there's nothing. There is nothing. I'm going to have to scroll through all of these things here um, and make sure that we've done every single... Look at, look at what we've done. Look at what we've done. Oh, wow. Look at all those Thieves Guild. <laughs> look at all that Thieves Guild grinding. And there we go. No one escapes sitting to mine. Well, great. I can scratch that one off. <laughs> it's been so long. This, this Let's Play has gone on for so long. Wait, 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 wait. Why doesn't this start off with... Where is Unbound? Hopefully this does not override stuff since we've done so many things. Um... Uh-oh. Is Unbound here? I thought this was in order of what we've done. Uh, oh. Okay, well, you guys are the historians better than I. Um, if there is anything we've missed in due time, I'm sure you guys will let me know. But I've also got a good memory of what we've done, what we haven't. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's it. We've got Lights Out, The Heart of Debella, and Filial Bonds. Uh, we're going to start with The Heart of Debella since that is what we were doing first. To appease the priestesses of Debella, I have agreed to find the young girl who will be their next Sybil. It's been prophesied that she lives in the village of Carthwaston to the north of Markarth. Find the future Sybil of Debella. Which, as I mentioned before, is sort of similar to um, the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama is chosen at birth. 
and they don't really have a say as far as I remember. They're just sort of thrust into the position of being Dalai Lama, which is cool and is not cool. I want your cell swords out of my mind. Watch your tongue, native. We'll leave when we're sure there's no force worn here. Oh, and when would that be, I wonder? When I sell my land to the Silverbloods? The Silverbloods have made you a very generous offer for this pile of dirt. I suggest you take it. If the Forsworn aren't attacking my town, the Nords are trying to force me off it. I'm one of the few native sons of the Reach that owns land. It doesn't make me very popular. Trouble with the mine? Robbery is what it is. The Silverbloods are trying to muscle in on my land. Forsworn attack the mines, and suddenly all these sellswords show up to hell. They won't let anyone work until I sell it off. What if I convince them to leave? You can try, but I'd keep your sword arm ready if things get ugly. Okay, so even that's not a main quest, it's just sort of a little miscellaneous quest. I'm looking for a young girl who lives around here. Oh my, you'll want to talk to Enmund about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wonder, I'm trying to remember if that evolves into a main quest or not. I feel like it doesn't, but the way they set that up, it seems like it is big enough for a uh, main side quest. Don't have anything to say to you, Strong. Ah! What just happened to me? Oh my gosh, my, my gallon of water just fell from my bed and slammed on the ground too. Hi there. You're not from here. We don't need to be talking. I'm looking for a young girl who lives around here. Damn it, man. Are you trying to taunt us? What are you talking about? Our daughter, Fiotra, was taken from here. The Forsworn descended and they didn't touch anything else, just our little girl. Where did they take her? It was the Forsworn from Broken Tower. Never been much trouble before. What's it to you? Your daughter is the Sybil of Debella. She... really? Well, that's... I, I, I wouldn't have dreamed. Of course we need her in Markarth then. I'll come with you. It's dangerous out there. You should stay. You're probably right. Just hurry, please. Who knows what those things are doing to her. There is a heavy context here of child molestation, which again, the Elder Scrolls never seems to really delve into, at least in the games. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to say, oh, well, if you look into the lore, you know, this this happened and this happened. But I mean that they don't just come out and say it in the game. You sort of have to figure that stuff out for yourself or do some research yourself or whatever. Um, I don't know if that's what they're trying to go for, but it's a little unnerving how many references were made to, I'm looking for a little girl. And then that guy was like, oh, uh, well, I don't think that was the point. But <laughs> if this were Game of Thrones, let's just say it would not be that uncommon to look for a little girl. Yeah, there's some horrible stuff that happens in Game of Thrones. Um, let's grab Mirax Sword. Let's grab Closed Wounds. And let's grab Soul Chair. I want to run through this place because we've already cleared this place. And I really do not want to just fight through 10 billion Forsworn. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get in some one-handed experience whenever we can. In fact, we'll take it out. In fact, we'll take it out. That was weird. He did the motion, but he didn't actually grab it. Yeah, and I remember this place is big, too. Nice little twist there. Wow. Yeah, that sure worked for you, didn't it? Ooh, we need to start soul tearing people too. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, I hate this dungeon. Uh, this probably is my least favorite dungeon. I don't mean type. I know I mentioned type before, but this specific one, whatever this place, what is this place called? Broken Tower Readout. I hate this place. Um, and it seems like this game just wants to send me to it. Ow! God, that would hurt so bad if this were real life. Yeah, nice little twist. Again, I have to say, you guys should probably be focused on other things as opposed to style points. It's not really going to help you out uh, in the long run. Okay, I'm just going to go towards the direction because I really have no idea how to get to the end here. This looks correct, though. And we need to be looting any and all soul gems we find as well. I keep forgetting to do that. And also the pelts. Ugh, I need to remember that as well. We need to be looting pelts, goat horns, eyes, all sorts of that stuff. Hey, 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 don't you, don't you try that. Yeah, nice job killing yourself. 
Actually, I, I think I activated the uh, tripwire there. So, sorry about that. What is that? Tomato soup? Gross. Hey! I thought there was only one person in here. How dare you? How dare you sneak? Sneak behind me. Look what, look what has become of that now. You are dead. Okay, give me that soul tear back. Come on, let's go. It's been forever. All right, let's go into sneak. Out to Skyrim. We're trying to save the daughter, right? Yeah, we've literally saved someone here before, haven't we? Ooh, can we get a sneak? Ooh. Ooh. Kind of want to unrelenting force her off of the balcony, but let's get a sneak point, shall we? Oh, cool! Yay, it finally happened. Adronach was able to perform a sneak attack uh, and a one-hit kill as well. Not bad, Adronach. Not bad at all. Okay, into the next leg of this horrible, horrible place. Oh, uh, maybe we can get the Briarheart, too. Ooh, it would be awesome if we could... You know what? Let's try something, shall we? Uh, we haven't used this in a long time. Haven't really had the need. Uh, okay. Now, he can still hear us, though, because we haven't muffled our footsteps. But, our sneak is like 65. No, 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 damn it, I wanted to, no, oh, I wanted to pick your briar heart out of you, that would have been so cool, oh well, uh, because I'm trying to rescue you, silly little girl, okay, let's actually charge up our sword, oh my god, so many iron daggers, okay, boom, and we will take your soul as well, sir, if you would bid me to have it. Actually, I don't need you to, to bid me. No, that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to take it from you, all right? So here I go. Gotcha. Gotcha, soul. Your soul's mine. Hi there. I'm here to bring you to the temple in Markarth. Then it's true what they said. I'm touched by the gods? It seems like you're touched by a lot of people. No offense. You're going to be the Sybil of Debella. I've heard stories about the wonders of the Great Temple in Markarth, but I never dreamed that I would even get to see it. I am honored to be called for this duty. Please, lead on. What a weird little... What are you, Lady Mormont? A lot of Game of Thrones references lately. Bring Fyotra to the temple, and we have the Shrine of Dibella. Please, let's hurry to the temple. Oh, that's interesting. That's actually pretty applicable. I guess they did send me here for a reason. Um... Plus 10 speech craft. Eh. Yeah, hold on. That's late. Little girl, I am the best mage. I, I'm the strongest person in all of Skyrim, okay? Don't don't worry about it. I, I will not let them take you. Yes. Soul gem. That's exactly what we wanted. The firmament. Uh, uh, any pelts or anything in here? Hey, you're not looking too good, buddy. Oh, that's so gross, man. Okay, let me take this and... The, ooh, you have a date. Wow, this guy had two hearts. I guess, I guess that means that he can love twice as many women? I don't know. I'm trying to make a joke and it just didn't happen. You know what I mean? Uh, I am not going there. No. I am heading all the way back to Markarth. To the... Ugh. Ah, Alright, you want to be down there? You want to ruin my plans? I'm going to come get you. I'm going to come get you. I'm coming to get you. Oh, you're a strong one. Oh, crap. Yeah, because you've got a friend now. No! No! Watch out, little girl. I don't want your soul. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, hold on. All right, for once, the twist actually worked out. I already faced the Forsworn. They're all dead inside. Are you not paying? Oh, my God. Give up while I... What? Excuse me? All right, now for you, you little bow loser. You won't live to see tomorrow. I won't live to see tomorrow, as literally my giant magical sword is through your chest. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And we've got one more, it seems. Where you at? Who's left? Looks like nobody. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we will end... 
the heart of Debella and start lights out and maybe filial bonds. I'm not sure. That quest is horrible and I hate it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.